create another tutorial with um techno spark 30c i have this device in hand it's being stuck on google account verification known as the frp lock so um whenever you try to set up your device either connecting to a wi-fi network or mobile data you are going to be prompt to provide your previous security pin which was being set on this device before hard resetting your device or you will be required to provide your previous um, google account information the previous one that was being bonded with the device before the date factory reset your device so if you do have this and um, you've forgotten both your security pin and um, your google account google account then you can follow along with my tutorial as in this tutorial i'm going to show you how you can bypass or skip the google account verification um screen so here first we need to move back to um the user agreement and services so under wifi when you do move you have this user agreement and services make sure to scroll down until you see this option saying privacy and personalization being highlighted in the blue color click on it and it should take you to chrome browser when you, you are being prompted with this click on continue without adding an account then proceed so on the um url bar or the search bar type in this website which is google.blogspot so the link will be in this video description if you did not catch up also on the screen here you can see the link over there make sure to type in the correct link and then hit on enter you will be taken to this website right over here when you are being taken to this website click on this thread um dot with the menu and now choose rfrp tools wait for it to load once it loads scroll down to you see open settings scroll down and you will find open settings in the list once you find it click on it and it should take you to your settings app so wait and you see we are in the settings app so what we are going to do here is to scroll and until we see app management which is here click on it and now move to app list once you are in the app list you are going to scroll until you find palm store you can either search for the palm store or you can just just scroll through the list and find the palm store app once you locate the app click on it and also thanks to amuni for supporting this channel thanks for your support to this channel if you want to support the channel as well make sure to always leave a comment and give a like to this channel once you are in the palm store we are going to search for this simple app which is android assistive touch for android make sure you search for assistive touch for android once you've done searching for the assistive touch for android note that there are going to be a lot of um similar apps just like the one that we want to download so if you come across any of the app make sure you download the exact um assistive touch that i'm going to download here so um I'm going to download this one right over here and also to avoid um, downloading the wrong um, application make sure the um, screenshot of the app matches this once that is being done you can click on install or download and wait for it to download so the download is going to take um, a few seconds this is not a big fall so um, depending on your internet speed it's going to download and once it's been done downloading um it's going to install on your device without having you to install it manually so just wait for it to finish downloading and installing once it's been done you can click on open now let's open the app and set up the assistive touch on our device also know that this app do contain ads so if you Come across any ad wait for the ad time and then you can close from it once you are in the app the app is going to tell you to enable um display over other apps make sure to turn this um option on so here we have the assistive touch here make sure to enable it once you've enabled it you can go back and 
allow or ignore notification permission. Once that is been done, click on customization menu. Once, once you are in the customization menu, click on the add icon and scroll down till you see the app drawer. Add this to the customization icons. Now you can click on the assistive touch floating icon. Now allow modification to system settings. Make sure this option is being checked. Now go back, back, back and um, close from the assistive touch for Android. Then move back to you are in settings app. So once you are back to the system settings app or the app list, scroll down to you see or scroll through the app list to you find um setup Android setup. Then um once you find the Android setup, you are going to first stop it. So here we have it. We are going to first stop the Android setup. Once you first stop it, you should see your time being allocated on the top left side of the screen. So now let's move back and also scroll through the app list again and then find Google Play service. Once you are in Google Play service, make sure to disable the app. Once you've disabled, click on first stop. Once you first stop the app, now you can go back, back, back to settings. And um, once you do go to settings, make sure that you have you still have the assistive touch floating icon on your screen. So here we, do, we don't have it. So we have to go back again to the app list and um, launch assistive touch. So here we do have the assistive touch. Open it and we, we need to make sure that we still have the floating assistive touch on our screen. So here comes the ad that I'm going to skip. Once the assistive touch is being launched, you, you should have your icon being floating on your screen. So here I'm going to confirm that we still have the app drawer on our screen or added to the assistive touch uh, menu. So, and if you do have apps like this, make sure to um, wait for the countdown and then close. So we do have the app drawer still on the assistive touch menu. So um, we can now proceed to go back to the user agreement screen. So when you are back on the user agreement and services, click on next and proceed. So on this screen, it's going to take a little bit of time if you do not have good internet. So um, let's wait. So here, when you do proceed to um, copy apps and data, click do not copy and wait for it to keep on um, looping on this screen, checking for app update and just a second. On this screen, we are going to click on the assistive touch floating icon click on app drawer keep on doing this until the app drawer do show up keep on doing this we keep on repeating it until you see the app drawer okay so when the app lets do show up scroll down to you find settings click on settings then scroll to app management you click on it then here on app list and here we are going to search for only google play service so scroll to till you see um google play service here on it and enable it once it's been enabled go back back and back to the checking update and just a second screen and the moment you do get to the just a second screen you should have um your device on the google service so let's wait so we have it google services scroll down so you see um accept scroll down now we have to accept these google service stamps and um set up our device so we get to the home screen so i'm going to fast forward this um till we get to the home screen okay so once you are on the home screen scroll down to you find settings move into settings and um we can um check our device information so here we do have the common 30c which is the um with the model number kl5 
so um if you do have any models like the Kami 30 series then you can try this method and it should work for you and one thing you need to do before you have a perfect device is to factory reset your device for the last time so you are going to factory reset your device from settings here and not hard reset so make sure you do factory reset your device else you will not be able to install apps other than app store or play store so if you do not factory reset your device one last time you will not be able to install apps that you do download from um your chrome browser or even having it be zender to you you will not be able to install it unless you download from play store only so make sure to factory reset your device one more time to have a perfect device thanks for watching make sure to like this video if you enjoy the content thanks for watching the name is guru peace out